On Streams and Incentives, a Synthesis of Individual and Collective Crowd Motion. We present a new crowd simulation model that can handle both low density and high density scenarios. Our model uses only local rules and it can be used with any existing global path planning method and any existing local collision avoidance method. In our model, crowd coordination is described by a set of streams. Streams occur as groups of nearby agents begin to actively coordinate their movements. The velocity of an agent is an interpolation between the agent's individual velocity and the stream velocity of a nearby crowd. We say that an agent's incentive is a dynamically changing interpolation value that describes that agent's willingness to comply with a crowd's stream motion. Several factors affect an agent's incentive. Most prominent among these is the local density. In low density scenarios, agents are free to follow their preferred global path. This path can be computed with any existing path planning method. At higher densities, following an individualistic strategy is often not energy efficient. Aligning agent motion with nearby crowd members is a more efficient strategy. Interpolating between the individual and stream velocities permits agents to automatically adapt their behavior to dynamically changing densities. In this example, we show the effects of different parameter settings. The agent in red and yellow has a high incentive. This causes the agent to push through the crowd despite the high density. When we lower the agent's incentive, crowd density makes the agent deviate from its path and move along with the stream. As soon as the agent deviates from its preferred direction too much, the incentive rises and the agent leaves the stream. Note that a party animal agent that has an extremely low incentive will follow the crowd. Even when this is clearly not the shortest path. Now let's consider a complex virtual university. This university has many regions with low density and many regions with high density. A group of students leave the main classroom when a lecture ends. A group of idle students act as dynamic obstacles in a hallway. Yet another group of students enter the building to attend an upcoming lecture. Let's take a closer look at the different situations. In this hallway, groups of students dynamically split and merge. Notice how our model enables smooth and energy efficient crowd flow despite the increased density. In less dense situations, it becomes more likely that students will follow their individual paths. Notice how dynamic obstacles such as the idling students are successfully avoided. In high density scenarios, like this narrow doorway, coordinated behavior takes over. The increased coordination enhances the formation of lanes and helps maintain a smooth crowd flow. We will now put our model to the test by investigating extreme densities. We first look at what happens in an extremely dense passage when coordinated streams behavior is turned off. The formation of lanes still occurs, but due to a lack of coordination, agents continuously try to exploit gaps in the crowd. This causes a deadlock to occur after a short amount of time. By contrast, our streams model resolves the situation smoothly. In conclusion, we have presented a new model that automatically integrates individual and coordinated crowd movements. Our model enables the simulation of autonomous virtual agent behavior at arbitrary and dynamically changing crowd density levels. 
Thank you for your attention.